Hey there, Ben Lipper here. I'm super excited to share this with you. Basically, I want to show you how to actually get this set up. I'm going to show you the buttons to click to install. It's called this new software. It's called LDCAD, but basically it's just a software that lets you design a VexIQ robot on your computer. So this is the email that I sent you. If you haven't requested this email from me yet, there's a link in the description um, and basically click the link and I'll send you the email with all the details that you're going to need basically to finish out this video. You're going to go ahead, this is the video you're watching right now, you're going to go ahead and click, this is the first link, the installer, and then take a sec, it's going to download down there, just like that. We're going to go ahead and click on it, and look at that, it opens. It says, would you like to allow this app to make changes to your PC? You're going to hit yes, and then you're going to hit this install button right here. It's going to say completed, you'll hit close. So now you got the software. Basically, it is installed and it's ready to go. You can build robots with it, except you have no parts to build with. So we're going to go ahead and get the parts library, it's called. That is a list of all the parts that you could possibly ever want to build a robot. You're going to click that link that said parts library, and you're going to go ahead and click this little button down here that says, like, opening the parts library. Now, in here, this is a little weird. You're going to take this folder, and it is inside of a zip folder, so we can't do a whole lot with it. You're just going to right-click on it, and you're going to copy it. Now, this next step is a little bit challenging, so make sure you follow what I'm doing carefully. If you do this wrong, you mess up some other things. So, just be careful. We're going to hit this PC over here. We're going to look for the Windows C colon. It's going to be something like that. Anything that says C colon, though, is the one that you want. Then, I'm going to go ahead and look down here, and I'm going to look for Program Files x86. That is where it's going to be. And then, look for the name of the program. This is called LDCAD VEX. So, I'm going to go to double-click on that. And now you are in the programs folder. This is where our parts library is going to show up. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit paste. If it asks you yes or no, go ahead and just hit yes. It might ask you for a password. That's fine as well. It's just trying to make sure that you know what you're doing here. We know what we're doing. We are just trying to install the parts library. So here we are. We've got it. You can see it just popped up right here. I'm going to go ahead and right click and hit rename. And I'm going to rename this to library. It's important that you type this correctly. It has to be specifically spelled correctly. Um, L-I-B-R-A-R-Y with a capital L. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. Again, if asked yes or no, go ahead and just hit yes. That's totally fine. And then we should be good to go. Now, to find LDCAD, you can see it's actually right here. But the better way to find it is if you go to your start menu, right in here, you either type in the letters L-D-C-A-D, or if you have a search bar down here, you can just type those right into the search bar. But it's LD and then CAD, which is how you spell CAD. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It should take just a second. It's going to launch. And now if I come over here and look at that, I have all my parts. Now, you're actually able to make just about anything you want. Imagine here, you can change the color of the parts. I got another video that shows you kind of some of the details of how you actually make things in here. But this is super exciting. You just hit the start a new model, hit OK, and you are ready to start designing. Have fun.